two wonderful guests we do. now, though, keeping their spirits up in lockdown, are Britain's oldest identical twins. They are 95 <laughs> years old, Lil and Doris. Right, Good you morning. two, I want to know one thing. Which one of you is my fan and which one isn't? Lil. Lil's my fan. So, Doris, I'll come to you in a moment, Lil. Doris, Thank you're you. a very sensible person. Doris, why are you not my fan? I still like your ears. <laughs> <laughs> Lil, so, Lil, you are my fan, so it's lovely to have you on the programme. That is. Um, Tell us about yourself. You're the oldest twins in the country, oldest identical twins. And you, you were separated for four weeks, weren't you, uh, Lil, at the start of this crisis? Now you've been brought back together. What was it like to be apart from your sister for that period of time? Good. We've had a birthday. Was it the best four weeks of your life, Lil? <laughs> Like, like, cookie dinner. <laughs> <laughs> how, uh, Doris, how are you finding lockdown? We have been too bad, haven't we? Been too bad. A bit bored in the times. What would you normally be doing if you weren't in lockdown? What do you miss? Not a lot. <laughs> OK, so perhaps I ought to ask Doris then, because, Doris, you're the one who's finding it boring. <laughs> Not a lot, because I'm with a good daughter. You're with a good daughter, yeah. right. But, you're... Doris, you're bored, Doris. What would you like to be doing that you can't do? What would you like to be doing? Playing bingo? Sitting by you. <laughs> <laughs> now, you two, you two lived through the Second World War. Uh, what do you make of this coronavirus? What do you think of it? Don't understand it. Frightening. <laughs> Frightening, yeah. Very yes. frightening. And when you see on a on a serious on a serious point, oh. Lil and Doris, when you when you see what's been happening in care homes to a lot of other elderly people, what do you feel about that? Lovely. Our care home is beautiful. Yeah. Lovely. We were locked in a fortnight before they told we. That's right, Lil, because um, you were in the care home, weren't you, both of you? But actually, your daughter, Vivian, decided that she would take you both out and that's why you are both now at her yes. home. And, and how is that? How are you enjoying that? It's like a five-star hotel. Oh, I bet. What is the secret of, of your two... ..of living so long and so well? What's the secret? Secret. Plenty of sex and now no sex. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true, Doris? <laughs> no sex, plenty of sex. <laughs> and Lil, I hear that you. I have a love rival, uh, Jason Statham. You're rather yes. fond of him. One night with him and I'd die happy. <gasps> <laughs> I'm coming on to you now. You are. <laughs> You're flirting outrageously, both of you. Got to keep your social distance, though, remember. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing a bit of music now to get you in the mood, ladies. <laughs> a bit of Barry White. Oh, well, it's absolutely lovely to see you. What would you look? You're both, on, you're both on Good Morning Britain. What would you like to say to the people of Britain to cheer us all up? Well, what can we say? Mm -hmm. There ain't much to cheer for, is there? <laughs> you've got to... You've got to... Oh, we've had you're to censor it. Just make the best of everything. Show plenty of love. Yeah. I think that's right, isn't it? That's all. In the end, that's all you can do. Make the best of everything and show plenty of love. And, uh, look, I, I just Lovely. had a thought, but... Lovely advice. What, what would you say about uh, Captain Tom? Because he's he's he might be available. Are either of you two ladies interested? <laughs> I want bloody thrilling, not killing. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous, ladies. We could talk to you all morning. It's been great to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. And more power to your elbow. Keep watching. Thank you.